Hey, it takes money to keep the lights on. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 multiplayer games killed by their developers. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're ranking multiplayer games that are infamous for their servers being shut down or irreconcilably altered by their developers. Games that you can still play online but are not receiving updates, like Tribes Ascend, will be excluded. Number 10, Tabula Rasa. Richard Garriott, who popularized the MMORPG genre with Ultima Online, was the lead designer for this sci-fi adventure in 2007, and the game garnered some great press prior to its launch, probably because of it. Despite decent ratings for its solid gameplay and flashes of creativity, this MMORPG didn't set the world on fire. Worse still is that publisher NCSoft allegedly forced Garriott out of their company while he was being quarantined after returning from space. Only weeks after this incident, developer Destination Games slated for shutdown on February 28, 2009. With the game coming to an end, Destination made the game free to play. They also rewarded loyal players with one final stand against the Alien Alliance, the Bane, before the game became a <laughs> blank slate. Number 9, Halo Wars. Warthog, good to go. Already seen as the underdog for being a rare RTS on a console, Halo Wars also had to contend with criticism of using a different developer. Yet, the game found its fanbase anyway due to the simplified RTS controls and the continuation of the Halo lore told through pretty cutscenes. It wasn't even a year later that Microsoft decided to close the website HaloWars.com on December 15, 2010. The plan was to use Halo Waypoint as a universal hub for all Halo games. This decision, though, came at the cost of lost user accounts, statistics, ranked match records, and forums, which were not maintained or replaced. Despite the in-game servers being online, Halo Wars just wasn't the same afterwards, and it's pretty dead now. Station upgrade complete. Number 8, The Matrix Online. Just as icons in the gaming world can't save games from their fate, film series rarely do any better. Launched in 2005, this MMO was the canonical sequel to the Matrix film trilogy, though the second and third films were some of the most divisive films in cinema, but whatever. No, it's not fair. For what it was, The Matrix Online gave players the experience they kind of expected when they swallowed the red pill and more. Offering a real-time hand-to-hand combat system, bullet time, and an ongoing plot, the game did try its darndest to be the one. After four years of relative mediocrity and waning interest in the entire franchise, Sony Online Entertainment pulled the plug on July 31st, 2009. Number 7, Warhammer Online, Age of Reckoning. Based on the tabletop gaming franchise created by Games Workshop, Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning did pretty well in the cutthroat MMORPG market, well, at first. Developed by Mythic Entertainment and released in 2008, Age of Reckoning sold over 1.2 million copies, received stellar reviews, and won a few awards, too. <laughs> that said, there were a few issues with its gameplay, PvP and quests being the primary focus. These issues, in part, caused the loss of 300,000 players. As the game limped along, it became free-to-play and offered new battles for players. But it wasn't until Mythic's licensing agreement with Games Workshop expired that the game was shut down on December 18th, 2013, with many remaining players gathered together in solidarity. Man, they love to do this stuff right before Christmas, eh? Number 6, PlayStation Home. PlayStation Home was an online world within the PlayStation 3. Acting mostly as a way station before getting started with an actual video game, Home amassed 41 million members during its seven-year run. Similar to Second Life, players could create avatars that would interact with other avatars and places in Home's virtual hub, and they could make an in-game purchase using real-world money. As relatively novel as the idea was, Sony never got PS Home past the beta stage. With Sony focusing more on the PS4, players said their final goodbyes to their home away from home on March 31st, 2015. Number 5, City of Heroes. Not even the likes of Darkseid or Thanos can cut down so many heroes at once the way NCSoft has. 
the publisher dealt quite a blow to this creative superhero-themed MMO and its spin-off, City of Villains. Due to budget cuts, NCSoft let go of the team working on the game, and closed developer Paragon Studios' doors. But the thing is, the game was actually doing quite well, as it was highly praised by critics and had amassed a large fan following, making the decision to shut the game down kind of questionable. Still, on November 30th, 2012, City of Heroes went out with a massive influx of heroes waiting for the end at City Hall. Number 4. Star Wars Galaxies The Force was not quite strong enough with this one. With an MMORPG as expansive as you'd expect it to be with Galaxy in the title, Star Wars Galaxies had comprehensive gameplay and the backing of the Star Wars universe lore. For all its critical acclaim, however, the game suffered from bugs and not every detail worked as players would have liked. Developer Sony Online Entertainment fixed a couple of these issues, but also ended up altering a lot of the things that players kind of liked about the game, cutting their losses as EA and BioWare's Star Wars The Old Republic was a week away. Galaxies became one with the Force on December 15th, 2011. Number 3. All Wii and DS Online Games May 20th, 2014. Millions of Nintendo fans have that date etched in their minds. On that day, Nintendo discontinued their Wi-Fi connection service for all Wii Nintendo DS Online games. Sadly, moving on to the next generation of consoles always has its casualties, and with the Wii and DS family discontinued, Nintendo merged the service with the Nintendo Network. We understand that they need the bandwidth for games on the Wii U, Nintendo 3DS family, and more recently the Nintendo Switch, but after so many hours of playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl, this one definitely stung. Three, two, one, time. Number 2. The Sims Online In theory, it seemed like a genius idea to make Maxis and EA's Life Simulator into a massively multiplayer online game. Sure enough, they gained a good amount of players for the service, but it also gained mixed reviews regarding its gameplay. With the release of Second Life in 2003, EA and Maxis were starting to feel the pinch. <laughs> Unable to keep up with Second Life's customized content, The Sims Online was actually rebranded to EA Land in 2008. Shortly after its rebranding, the MMO formerly known as The Sims Online was shut down on August 1st of that year. <laughs> Number 1. Halo 2 In a similar situation that Nintendo had with their Wi-Fi connection service, Microsoft announced the shutdown of Xbox Live for all of the original Xbox games on April 15th, 2010. Out of all the titles attached, it was Halo 2 the most popular game on the platform, whose shutdown was the most notorious. Die-hard Halo players were determined to enjoy the game as long as they could, with 51 loyal fans prolonging their final match for weeks, refusing to give in and turn off their consoles. Eventually, Microsoft had enough, and they bribed and kicked out the players until the last man stood on May 11th, 2010. For anyone who had lost a multiplayer game that they loved, this last stand was considered a small, symbolic victory. Game over. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.